good morning from North Texas. Uh, just recorded about a 12 minute video and the new remote mic thing that I was using. Didn't pick any of it up. So, I'm gonna just try to talk loud so maybe you can get it. Uh, anyway, we're heading to the gun show in Sulphur Springs. Uh, it has been raining. It's been, we've had a toad strangler followed by a soaking rain, followed by a toad stroker floater, and then back to drizzly rain. Yeah. So, I have had showers today. Yeah, the first one this morning I used soap. And I'm going by the racetrack out here. They reopened and I don't believe them boys going to get anything done today because it's rain running off the road. So anyway, uh, we're going out to Sulphur Springs. This is April 2021. We have lots of ammo. A few guns. We've got some more of those Lone Wolf LTD 19s in. Uh, Eric, I'm saving you one. Don't worry about it. Uh, I really believe this is going to be pretty much a uh, ammo show slash maybe handgun show and I've been wrong before but I didn't bring all my rifles and stuff because like I said toad strangler mixed with soak and rain cardboard boxes and rain don't mix real well so anyway I brought a few didn't bring me but uh, we're also on the hunt for some good clean used rifles. Uh, I got a real good hunt buddy that's looking for a clean 3030, preferably a Marlin, preferably pre Remington. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm a Remington guy, but I generally like the Remingtons that were made like seven in mid 70s and older. Not a snob, that's just the ones I like. Anyway, uh, so we're going to be on the hunt for some of that. Uh, yes, we have primers. Not a lot of primers, but we got some primers. And right there, uh, when I was getting packing up, some powder showed up. So yeah, we're going to have a little bit of powder too. So uh, not much, just a little. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can tell. I'm wearing my uh, Mid-South Shooter shirt. I want to shout out to them guys because they have... Uh, they have got me projectiles when other people were lacking, so thank you very much. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, I paid full price. So come on out to the show. Uh, like I said, Sulphur Springs, Texas. It's uh, a little over an hour east of Dallas, straight out 30 east, uh, a little ways past Greenville. Good little show. Small show, but really good. Uh, again, uh, hopefully they'll do fried pies. They're really good. So we rolled out this, well, we got the trailer yesterday from my son's. Went by Smoke Sessions Barbecue, got some barbecue, excellent. So if you're out that way near Roy City, you need to stop. Uh, we had the brisket and the turkey. The brisket is always excellent. And uh, I'd say that the turkey was really good. I'm pretty picky about my turkey, but uh, it had a real good bark to it. coating it was good it was still moist on the inside uh, it, was, it was good probably the best smoked turkey I've ever ate uh, anyway uh, you'll see those folks uh, like I said we're we're gonna be on the hunt for some good clean used firearms and uh, see how it goes uh, I'm trying to think of like I said we had we had like a full 12 something minute video earlier any audio whatsoever. Zero. So, anyway. Um, oh, okay, I remember where I was going. We uh, got up this morning, everything was nice, took a shower, and uh, inside the house. And then uh, it, it was nice, wasn't even a drizzle, sprinkle nothing. We took the dogs for a walk. When we're at home, both of us in the morning, the dogs expect to go for a walk. So we go down the street and back. Beautiful. A little cool, but beautiful. Nate at the little diner that Robin's dad uh, loved going to right there uh, in Mesquite. And uh, while we were there, Toad Struggler 
Strangler kit. So we got home, it backed off a little. I got the stuff I had at the house uh, loaded in the trailer, drove over to the warehouse, pouring rain, running across the street rain, just blowing. Anyway, uh, just as I got just, I think, the last little bit in the trailer, yeah, it become just a slow soaking rain. But we're uh, right on the outskirts of Greenville, and uh, it hadn't let up much. So they do have a porta cachet going into this building. Yep, I said it. Uh, the only reason I know that is uh, I worked at Lakewood Country Club and, uh, for a little over a year, and the lights in that porta cachet always went out. The first time the big boss said something about the porta cachet, I looked at him and went, What? awning that's over the driveway is a porta shed. Okay. Anyway, uh, that being said, there's going to be a lot of retired gentlemen out here, and they're all going to be parked under that, so uh, we'll see how that goes. If not, we'll unload the rain. Uh, not my favorite, but we'll do it. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, come on out. 9 to 5 Saturday, 9 to 4 Sunday. If it's slow, I guarantee you there'll be a bunch of them start packing about 1.32 o'clock. So, you know, get to church, get out of church, come out, visit a little bit. But if you get out here at 1.32 o'clock, don't be surprised people are packing up. That, that, that happens. So, anyway, y'all take care of one another. We'll see you down the road.